This past six months, I've taken a burnout. And this isn't just regarding filmmaking and photography, but it's also just in my day-to-day -day life. Life kind of seems dull at times. And if you have ever felt like this at all, or you are currently going through this, this video will be helpful for you. I will be sharing three things that kill creativity from my personal experience. If you're new here, I'm honestly not surprised. This is a very small channel, but I'm Christian Jones and I'm very passionate about filmmaking and photography. On this channel, the videos will be centered on filmmaking and photography. In addition, you will find videos about tips and ideas on how to stay focused on your dreams and your goals. During the time of this video, if anything sticks out to you, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I will happily read it and respond to you. Okay, so the first thing that absolutely killed my creativity was fear. Specifically, the fear of trying or creating something new and the fear of thinking that somebody might not like it. Picture this, I don't know if you felt the same way, but imagine you have this huge idea, this very out of the box idea. And that's when your fear starts coming in. It's too big of an idea, you know? It's it's too much, it's too far out the box. You, you want to stay more on the conservative road. If you think about it, fear doesn't only kill success, it also kills creativity. It is, for me, something I've really been trying to focus on getting over. Fear to some extent is fine, right? It's our bodies trying to save us from danger or from harm. But many people, in my opinion, have way too much fear of the unknown, including me. Okay, so the second thing that kills creativity that I've experienced would be comparing yourself or your product or your work to other people's, specifically people above you, meaning they have more experience, they have more time in the field. And this can be absolutely terrible. Everybody's different. Everybody has different ideas. Everybody has different styles of shooting, right? Not everybody's gonna do the same thing. And if you're constantly comparing yourself and your work to say, Peter McKinnon or some huge filmmaker or photographer, of course yours probably won't look quite as professional or as good as his yet. And that's because obviously he's had many years in training and you probably have not had as much experience as he had. And that's just how it is. However, you can learn and you could become that good in your own specific way. Personally, I do feel like comparison can be good in one specific way, and that is comparing to your older products. Not other people's, but yours and your older ones. For example, I can watch this video that I'm making right now and think, oh, it's not near as good as these other guys. But if I look back on my first YouTube video ever, which I would recommend that you not watch because it's very bad, I may take it down. If I look at that one, I can see that this one is loads, loads, loads better than my old one. And that's because I have improved. And that's a good sign and that's a good comparison. If you're comparing yourself against yourself, you will find results. And if you don't see results, then that's when you tell yourself you can do better or you should be doing something different. Okay, so the last and final thing that absolutely kills creativity is the all or nothing mentality. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. This is when you think, oh, if it's not perfect, then I'm just ditching the whole thing. I'm throwing it in the trash. We're never touching this project again because it wasn't 100%. Stop thinking this way. It's not good. It's not a healthy way of thinking. Nobody's going to get the product they want top notch the first time or the second time or probably the third time. That's something that just killed my creativity. I totally get it. Nothing's wrong with thinking you're not good enough or your videos aren't good enough where they are right now. That's totally fine because you have room to improve. Everybody has room to improve. As long as you keep climbing the ladder, learning your talents, learning how to make better videos, as long as you keep improving just a little bit every time, you will achieve that 100% one day. And just because you're only at 80% right now doesn't mean that you ditch the whole thing and just give up. That's a terrible and unhealthy way to think about it. And it's very important that you ditch that mentality like I am trying to ditch right now. Okay, that'll be it for today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll be making more content like this. I really appreciate all of you spending time with me here today. And as always, I will see you in the next video.